So I'm on my way fishing again, up to the Animus River in Durango. Uh, this will be the third time I've fished. I would have headed out a little earlier, but I brought my dog with me um, to take to the vet. She actually has a vet appointment uh, this morning, and she has a ear issue, and the doctor's gonna have to put her down, or not put her down, sorry, uh, wrong choice of words, make her asleep, basically. She's gotta go to the doctor, um, so I'm gonna drop her off, and then I pick her back up at five. I think I'm gonna get my wife to pick her back up, though because I'm gonna be fishing. So I planned on uh, going today much earlier and, you know, change of events. I had to had to go, uh, have to go drop her off, so. But they open at 8.30, so I'll be, probably be able to leave around nine and get there right around 10, 10.30 or so. I'm gonna stop and get a fishing license. Yeah! So I uh, just stopped into the Dranglers and had them put on a fly line for my rod. I'm going to try possibly doing a little bit of streamer fishing. I just got a uh, sink tip uh, for my Sage Method. It's a very stiff rod, but it'll allow me to huck those streamers out far if need be. Got my fishing license and it is about 10.30 or so. Um, should be out on the water by 11 and uh, it'll give me about four hours to fish. So hopefully, hopefully uh, that'll be enough time to actually get one. Okay, I am pulling in to the parking lot here. I'm about ready to go fish. Boy, it is a winter wonderland here. This is gonna be a cold fishing day. So I'm on my way, and I'm walking through a whole bunch of snow. I'm finally on the path here, so instead of just going down, right down there, and up, the very last time I went fishing, I actually went much further. I started walking down this path, past a bridge, and uh, got down to some slower moving water. So. You know, that's where I actually hooked that one good sized brown. So I'm hoping that'll be the same situation today, that that's a good spot to go. I left my tripod at home. I always am forgetting something every time I go. Luckily, it's not something essential to fishing, but it is essential to filming. So I'll definitely be getting you guys on my, uh, my hat cam. I'll try to figure out a way to film still. Without a tripod, it's gonna be a little difficult. Anyway, I'm going under the bridge now. And I've got maybe another 10 minute walk until where I wanna start fishing, so. Well, I forgot my glasses again. Boy, I'm forgetful, aren't I? I'm gonna run back to the car and go grab my sunglasses. Really should never fish without sunglasses. You won't be able to see in the water as well. I didn't even notice until I came up under that or over that bridge, looked down in the water and realized I couldn't see into the water. Back to the car. About a 10 minute walk back. As I came up to the spot, I try to adjust the camera so it gets a decent shot, but doesn't fall into the water. This proved to be a little more difficult than I thought it would be. While walking out to the spot where I hooked the big brown last time, I was very excited. For some reason, I expected to hook him right away. I don't know why though, since it was a full two weeks ago. Yes, I almost fell in there. Well, nothing. All right, so that was the spot that I went uh, before and hooked that brown the last trip. But nothing, nothing at all. I tried uh, different depths and uh, stretching the bottom, coming up a little higher, 
nothing on the nymph. I'm going to try a little further down. Sun's overhead, but it is early still. Water hasn't warmed up at all. Not that's going to much, but hopefully not too much because then it'll start getting a little mucky from the snow runoff. So a while back, there was a spill of some heavy metals, lead and some others. You can see still some remains of it. Uh, this whole river was orange for, I don't know, about a week or so, they said. But they did a big cleanup. I still see a little bit. But they say it doesn't affect the fish, and it doesn't affect uh, the city of Durango. I've come up on an area here where there's some, you know, deeper, slower moving water mixed with some faster moving water. And further down that way, we've got a little bit of whiter water. I wouldn't really call it white water rapids, but the faster moving water but sometimes I can turn things up so usually trout will hang out right before that or right after as I walk out to the spot I lay my streamer rod down off camera I realized very quickly that this spot had no fish. Well, nothing there. The camera just not, you know, it's kind of crooked when I'm when I'm filming because I am just setting it on the rock. I'm not on a tripod, so I'm gonna get some weird angles. I walked all the way down past the rapids and I realized that I left my sage rod and sage reel and new line just put on it up at the last spot. Gotta go back, I can't leave a thousand dollar setup, more than a thousand dollars, sitting there. Hopefully no one grabbed it. Luckily it wasn't in a spot that anyone's gonna see. It was uh, kinda out in the middle of the river. Oh, thank God, I see it over here. It's still there. All right, so I'm taking a little quick, much needed break on this bench here and uh, Hopefully, once I catch my breath, down here looks really good. So I'm hoping that I can land something. It's one o'clock and still nothing. I've walked quite a ways down the river, tried many spots and just nothing, nothing at all really. So I came up to the top of this bridge here and uh, while well, I don't see any trout, this is really uh, deep and really slow along here. So I think I'm gonna give it a try. Kind of lucky, you can't really see into the water enough to know where they're at. I was just coming off of a bad flu, and this cold mountain air wasn't helping. Okay, well, nothing, but this looks like a really good spot <coughs> for some, <coughs> excuse me, looks like a really good spot for some streamer fishing. So, I'm gonna try to set up for that. See how this outbound short line works.
The camera almost fell in the water from the wind knocking it over. It was starting to be late, and by this time I was already thinking about how bad this trip was. Then everything seemed to start going wrong. I'm done. This is absolutely terrible. I feel broken. I don't want to fish anymore. I don't want to film. I just want to go catch a fish. This river is making me really mad. Well, I got the long walk back. Nothing. No fish. Just absolutely one of the worst days I've ever had fishing. It's not just that I didn't catch. I took a dunk there at the last little bit put my arm out to catch myself and went all the way up to my shoulder. I'm really cold. I'm tired. I'm sore. I just, this river is really, really making me mad. However, as I started walking back, something told me to try that spot where I hooked the big brown on my last trip. Just one more time. Boy, am I glad I did. Because in just two casts, I had a trout almost rip the rod out of my hands. He knew he was hooked instantly, and I could barely budge him even with my stiff rod and heavy tippet. He was so strong, I could feel every whip of his tail throughout the whole fight. Even before I saw him, I knew he was a big fish. Throughout most of this fight, he stayed put, however all of a sudden he took off downstream, and my reel sung like it was hooked into a freight train, which made me howl for some reason. At this point, I knew I had to chase him downstream, however I just couldn't start walking where I was located. So I made sure and kept him on the reel tight while I grabbed my wading stick. As I walked back, he started going towards the ice shelf, which caused me to have to try and steer him out of there. Even though I was pretty sure I was going to get him in, I've had lots of trouble recently landing fish. 
I didn't want to count my chickens before they hatch, so to speak. But all that worry for nothing, because... Yeah! Look at that fish! Holy moly! That's a big boy! He's probably... I don't know... 22, 23, 24, somewhere around there? Alright, I'm gonna get him back in the water. Oh! Finally on this river! Ha <laughs> ha! Wow. I landed that big uh, trout uh, on this. This is what I caught him on. It's an olive. It's kind of hard to see right now just because uh, ah I hooked myself, but that's what I hooked him on. I didn't need a far cast either, and so I hooked them downstream, which made it for a difficult fight, but yeah, he hit that hard too. I felt a big thump, and I didn't set the hook really, really fast, but I hooked him right in the corner of the mouth. It was a perfect hook. Kind of wrapped around the line a little bit, but I got him free, and, and he took off uh, real quick, so he was healthy still. No injury, no nothing, so really stoked about that, but third time's the charm right at uh, the animus here so that's it um, my next stop will be I don't know this, this uh, weather now is not permitting for me to go to uh, some of these smaller creeks around here they're kind of frozen over or slushy I might have to go back to the San Juan uh, on my next stop man I, I wasn't gonna stop I was kind of done fishing I really was I was tired I was a little frustrated a little angry um, just kind of felt like it was not going to be a good day and it was 3 30 and you know I walked right past this is where I hooked that last one lost them but where I hooked that last one this could have been the same one that was a big one um, I was fishing that I was I hooked him on a tiny little uh, betis before it could have been the same one it was in the same exact hole of course that was two weeks ago so I don't know I don't know this is a really stiff rod but it did great. I mean, I, I, I thought it was uh, going to be too stiff for for this, but with a with a larger streamer like this, I mean, it's not huge, but it worked really well. Man, I am I'm on cloud nine right now. So, all right. Well, I am gonna take a little much needed break here at this bench. It's about 4:30, and uh, got maybe a 15 minute walk back to the car. Please uh, subscribe if you like this sort of thing. And if you feel I've earned your subscription, um, I signed up with something called Patron. Uh, you want to uh, contribute to the channel somehow, uh, go ahead and check out Patron. Um, it gives the ability for you guys to connect with me on a, on a little different level. Uh, my handle there, I believe, is uh, McFly Angler. Um, just search me and I'm sure you'll find me. Um, if you can't find me, uh, just go ahead and ask me in, this, in the description section. I'm always pretty... Uh, pretty good with getting back to people but um, yeah go ahead and check that out if you're interested I will see you guys uh, in another two weeks